Well, welcome back, friends, to the Cadaver Club. I'm Ben. <laughs> it's been a hot minute, but look at me, I'm back. Uh, today I got a little bit of a super duper fucking horror garment mega haul. Uh, this, of course, being the direct result of doing some online shopping while you were on a group video chat with a bunch of horror enablers. So if you don't want this to happen, maybe don't do that. Uh, but at any rate, I got a package from Cavity Colors. I got a package from Terra Threads, and I got a package from Fright Rags. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting right on into this shit. So let's make this happen, Captain. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have selected this evening's murder weapon. Uh, so let's just get right into this. Uh, first up uh, is uh, Terra Threads. And we have, looks like four shirts. Uh, first up, oh yes. Uh, if you know me, you know that I absolutely fucking love Castle Freak. Uh, so how could I pass on this beautiful uh, shirt? It has sort of like these 80s colors. It's pretty fucking amazing. Uh, but take a look at that. You got Giorgio right in the middle. You got Giorgio on the bottom too. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so cool, man. Uh, absolutely dig these colors. Uh, it just adds a little bit of fun to a uh, super rad movie. So anyway, Hideous Hungry Loose, that is the Castle Freak t-shirt. Ooh, and this of course, being the first horror movie I ever saw, was Sleepaway Camp. Uh, so here we got a Sleepaway Camp shirt. Uh, this, a lot like the, um, you know, old school VHS cover. Uh, you can see Angela's face there in the knife. Very cool. The reflection. Uh, yeah, so that is Sleepaway Camp. Love me some Sleepaway Camp. Uh, love me some Sleepaway Camp so much, I went for uh, twosies on that one. Uh, so here we have another shirt, Sleepaway Camp. And uh, yeah, it says, uh, uh, you won't be coming home. And uh, of course, we got Angela there holding the knife. We got that super memorable frozen pose from the end of the film. Uh, amazing. We got Homeboy who uh, got murdered at the canoe area and uh, yeah, arrows and a severed hand. Uh, amazing. Sleepaway camp, guys. It's fucking sleepaway camp. What can I say? Uh, looks like they threw in uh, st some stickers too. Ooh, that's cool. Terrifier sticker. Look at that. Sweet sticker uh and of course oh, how appropriate uh we got a terrifier shirt this one of art the clown sitting down saying shush i can't remember what the name of this design was but this is a very cool looking design man uh kind of like that stuff down there uh really kind of reminds me of like a woodblock print or something it's very cool looking uh, black and white with just that splash of red on art. Looks amazing. Uh, super cool, man. Love me some Terrifier. So there you go. That is Terror Threads in the book. Next, we're going to move on to Fright Rags. If you know me, you know that I have basically two speeds. Uh, overalls or lounge pants. Um, and these, of course, being... Texas Chainsaw Massacre lounge pants. Look at this. Uh, look at this print, man. Let's see if I can hold this up in a way that makes sense. Uh, these are always like super kind of busy prints, but uh, very cool. You got a little trilogy of Leatherface right there. Leatherface, Leatherface, Leatherface. Uh, looks like Sally Hardesty screaming there. Leatherface, a little chainsaw above his head. Uh, pretty cool, man. I don't see a single Franklin on here, so that's a bonus. Um, yeah, very cool. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Absolute favorite horror movie of all time. Had to get the lounge pants. Uh, then we also have some socks. Uh, I got the Twilight Zone socks. Pretty cool. Let me take this off so you can see the full thing. Uh, so here we go. Twilight Zone socks. You got the door. You got the eye. You got E equals MC square. You got the, uh little marionette, I don't know, like little artist thing, uh, body reference. 
but yeah, Twilight Zone, man. Love me some old school Twilight Zone. Had to get the socks. Uh, very cool. Uh, yeah, I actually never really read EC Comics, but I love this reminds me sort of, of uh, you know, of course, Tales of the Crypt and Creepshow. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just like the way they look, man. Uh, so I got them. Pretty cool. I'm sure these are probably some kind of famous stories or something, but uh, at any rate, those are the EC Comic socks. And this Fulci Zombie socks. How cool is that, man? Uh, let me some Fulci Zombie. Uh, super iconic. Let's pull this apart here and uh, give you a full view of the Fulci sock. There he is, the poster zombie on the front. Looks like he's on the shin there. So this is, uh, there's no real super duper great way to show this right now, but uh, there you go, worms in his fucking eyes. <laughs> Fulci zombie, man, you know Fulci. And you know the zombie, and these are on a pair of socks. What more do you want? Uh, so we also got, this is the shirt I got from them. Uh, and they threw in some, uh, Toxic waste candy there. Um, and this is a trick or treat shirt. Of course, you got Sam uh, right there walking, looking happy as all get out. Uh, I just like this uh, design. Of course, trick or treat, one of my absolute favorite anthologies. Uh, and yeah, I actually didn't have any trick or treat um, shirts. I'm wearing a pair of trick or treat socks right now but <laughs> I didn't have any shirts so there you go there's that and then I also got two more pairs of lounge pants from them of course we got uh, one of my all-time favorites return of the living dead uh, look at that very cool now they always seem to put these <laughs> prints on so like you can see them so the right side up if you're looking at them maybe not maybe it's all just random as shit uh, but at any rate, very cool, pretty fucking colorful, and uh, I like that, it's got this sort of fluorescent green, red, black, uh, looks cool, man. Some radiation signs there, uh, very cool, I should bring those. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre pants up and give you a little closer look at that, of those. But at any rate, those are the Return of the Living Dead lounge pants. And then, of course, the uh, piece de resistance. Ooh, I like these. Uh, we got some Halloween 3 lounge pants. Look at that. I actually kind of like this. Uh, it's a little slightly bolder print. I like a little bit of separation. You can actually see all the stuff that's going on. Uh, very cool. <laughs> Check out that uh, phone. Stop it! Uh, of course, you got Tom Atkins there. You got the TV. You got the witch. You got the pumpkin. You got the skull. And you got a bunch of uh, like little snakes and bugs and larvae and shit in between. Of course, there's Silver Shamrock. Uh, very cool, man. I think of all the lounge pants so far, these are my favorite. Um, but anyway, yeah, there you go. That was a uh, fright rag. So let's just move right on in to cavity colors. Of course, you know me, love me the Godzilla. Uh, and uh, I love this poster art, man. This is uh, Godzilla versus Destroya. You got the burning Godzilla backlit there, very cool. You got Destroya sort of looming large over him, some lightning bolts. Love that artwork, man. Uh, and uh, yeah, very cool. One of my all-time favorite uh, Godzilla movies, too. Hard to pick a favorite with Godzilla. Uh, Heisei, definitely my era. And this was, I believe, the last film in the Heisei era. So uh, there you go. This one, ooh, yep. Some more trick-or-treat stuff. Another trick-or-treat shirt. This, of course, being the, uh, the uh, bus students there get thrown, driven into the quarry. And uh, Sam, all gathering there for a little group portrait. You got the bus in the background, very cool. 
holding the uh, flaming jack-o-lantern. Awesome, man. Very cool design. It says trick or treat at the bottom. What more do you want, man? Look at that. Very cool. And uh, let's see, they threw in, this is just like a little card thing. Uh, oh, that's cool, but it's hot. Awesome. Uh, love me some hot. Very cool movie. Yeah, I guess it's just a card. Uh, also got a uh, Monster Club sticker. Pretty cool. Little receipt. And here's another Trick or Treat shirt. Uh, look at that. Bold colors, man. You got the yellow on orange on black. Very cool. You got Sam sitting there. Mask on. Sam unmasked. Trick or Treat there. And uh, on the back... You got uh, follow the rules. And then, of course, you got the rules of Halloween right there. Pretty cool. Trick or treat. Very cool, man. I mean, you guys know trick or treat. What more can be said? Uh, but have you seen Haunt? Because Haunt is a super cool movie. One of my favorite uh, Halloween time movies. Oh, and look, I think this is the same print that was on that card, is it? I don't know, I recognize that dude looking the same with the chainsaw. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, pretty cool, man. I uh, love this movie, Halloween staple for me nowadays. Uh, you have the, I guess all the villains, man. Uh, Man, what a cool movie, great atmosphere, and I want a prequel pretty badly, dude, of these guys. I want to see their story. I want to see how they got together. I want to see them planning the fucking haunt. Uh, I don't know, it's fascinating. So there you go, Jack-O-Lantern in the back, which got the hot poker. Uh, Homeboy's got the hammer. And uh, yeah, very cool. Huh. Boom. And last, we have... Uh, this was just a cool shirt, man. <laughs> you got, uh, Tar Man, you got Elvira, you got him posed like American Gothic painting with a spooky house in the back, some brains on the pitchfork. Amazing, guys. I just, I dug this artwork and had to get the shirt. Little mashup, uh, Return of the Living Dead and Elvira. Very cool. Looks like she's wearing some, uh, like she's wearing some return of the living dead pins too uh so there you go very cool so that is everything i picked up on my super duper garment mega haul uh anyway guys i've been meaning to get back into making some videos for a while now um and hopefully this is the beginning of me being more regular about it so at any rate there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, friendos. Thank you and goodbye, Mafra. Art says goodbye, too.